Hey guys, today's word is a great one. And a lot of native speakers, to be honest, probably know this one word, but there's going to be a lot of stuff inside this video that they don't know. So stick around and try to get into the richness of this. And the word we're going to start with is orthodox. And it's a great word. You'll read it a lot in kind of newspapers, hear it on the news, but even spoken English, uh, it's used quite often. And what it basically means, it's an adjective that's saying something is considered traditional, normal, or acceptable by most people. So it's a very normal, classical, conservative type of thing. Now, examples are really going to clear this up. So they talk about, um, V said, if you think about something that's orthodox, what comes to mind? First one is religion. So if you think about an orthodox Jewish person or an orthodox Christian, you're talking about someone who follows the religion very closely and very traditionally basically how it's described originally in the Bible in this case. Um, now, an orthodox way of teaching is teaching somebody with a method that is generally considered like a standard, classical, normal way. So just a normal way of teaching, nothing unique, just standard. Um, orthodox medicine is sort of um, it's a po as opposed to alternative medicine. So it's just sort of the normal mainstream medicine. Now, uh, there's two opposites that are slightly different, and there's one that's more common than another. The first opposite, it's very simple, is unorthodox. And this word, as an opposite, is used all the time, almost even more than orthodox, to be honest. I hear this when I'm watching sports, They'll talk about somebody who has a very unorthodox way of playing. So, you know, if they're shoot shooting a basketball instead of just a normal form, they might throw the ball over their head or just some really weird looking way of doing something in sports. So you have an unusual technique, but maybe it works. Um, you could say her teaching method is very unorthodox, but the students seem to love her. So maybe, I don't know, she takes the class outside every day and they learn outside, something like that. Just something that's not normal. It doesn't mean it's bad. It's just kind of unusual. It's uncommon or it's not the standard way of doing stuff. Um, and it's sort of a funny thing. You could use it in spoken English to describe somebody like your friend is a little unorthodox and you're just trying to say it's a polite way of kind of saying well they're a little weird but you know you still like them they're your friend just a little different than normal doesn't mean bad but it could be depending on the nuance now another example this is a high level word not used as often but it is used uh, you'll read it if you read a lot heterodox and this is um this is another opposite so but it's used differently you wouldn't describe someone's basketball technique as heterodox you'd say it's unorthodox but i could say he's interesting to listen to he has a lot of heterodox views but they are all well thought out so you can imagine some person maybe a professor who's very smart uh, interesting, thinking about a lot of unique things, but the views are different than normal. So a lot of people, even a lot of like the mainstream would disagree with what he's saying, but it's actually very intelligent, very clever, just something that's outside of the normal kind of mainstream thing could be good though, but that's heterodox, something that is uh, outside a heterodox in religion is usually considered by them a bad thing because it's thinking that's outside of what you're supposed to do according to the religion um, so examples here with the start you'll notice it starts with the uh, the pre
prefix ortho, and that means straight, upright, or correct. So there's a type of surgery or a, a one type of surgeon, somebody, a doctor who does surgery is called an orthopedic surgeon. And this is focusing on correcting or straightening muscles and bones. So if you get a sports injury or you get into an accident and they have to fix you and put you back to normal, you might need an orthopedic surgeon. I hurt my knee before playing basketball, I'm talking a lot about basketball today, but anyway, I hurt my knee playing that. I had to get a small surgery 20 years ago or so from an orthopedic surgeon. So, and actually before I even looked, I knew what that was generally, but even as a native speaker, I didn't know exactly that's what they do or that's why they call it orthopedic. So I learned something as well. Hopefully you learned something and please click like and write something in the comments. Let me know or let me know a word or phrase that you would like to know and I'll be happy to share it.